Oh, oh, yeah. steps. <laughs> I'm on this side of the camera. All right. <laughs> How's it going? Good. I'm just going to pop a squat so we make this quick. I know you're limited on time. Yeah, so. All right, so here we are. We're at BlurCon 2019. I'm getting myself a little comfortable right here just chilling. Bro. This is Team JBS of Nigeria. My cousin Ty here. We are speaking to the legendary Rachel True. How <laughs> is it going? Legend in her own mind. <laughs> um, I mean, from half big to... Do you know I can go anywhere in the world and someone's like, would you like a joint? <laughs> I'm like, ah, candy. <laughs> well, well, watch, dude, watch out in what places you're at. Like, <laughs> I can be the fans tricking out here. <laughs> but no, there be like so many different roles throughout our channel. I can't think of one legit TV show that was on my television in my house that you didn't have your fingerprints on. Yeah, I did do the guest stars on. I did work on a lot of shows doing guest stars. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I forgot I did yeah, all these things. Yeah, that's awesome. And I, and I think, too, with, like, with a younger mind, just to see somebody you know from like another project, like, oh, I didn't watch how she ordered it. Like, it's already all connected. It's, 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 it's kind of like fandom in this, in this period. But we have to ask the tough question right away. And, oh. it, and it deals with Black Hollywood right now. Or just Hollywood period and how they're really, you know, not the, the misrepresentation in the black press. And obviously you just had some troubles as well with their um, re, uh, with the remake of The Craft. And oh, no. Actually, let me clarify that. Okay. Because people got it confused. What I spoke out about was um, just when they were booking uh, my other castmates right. from The Craft at convention. And so that has nothing to do with the film. Okay. 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 You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. They're doing a remake now and I hope it's great. Okay. You I was just saying? Yeah. No, I'm I, clarifying that because people have asked. I'm like, no, no, it's nothing to do with the movie. This was about being included. I did speak out though because they were talking about the remake and they had a picture of me, you know, the other four girls, and then they went out of their way to mention every other person. Except you, but right, me. Right, right, and right. what I said is I don't expect a reporter to know my name. I expect them to do their research. Exactly. And exactly. say, because why I spoke up about that particularly being left out of that clipping was, oh, this is how we go from knowing someone's name to you know, you see a portrait from history and it's Dancing Girl. Yeah. Black person, no name. Yeah. Right? So I was like, I'm not going to let them forget my name. Exactly. That's why I'm speaking out about this. Plus, yeah. you put up a goddamn picture of me. Don't mention someone who's 10th on the call sheet. Right. It didn't make any sense, you yeah. know? But as far as um, the conventions, I spoke up just because I was like, oh, wait, I want to be included in this, exactly. right? It's a way to meet people. And that's what's so great about Hilton and BlurCon. He was so and, and lovely to me and, you know, very enthusiastic about me being here. So I was really happy to be a part of this. I think um, I heard um, I heard you saying um, that making a book is a, a process, right? Oi. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm a new author. Um, Congratulations. Just, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I created a book called um, Welcome to Brick Falls, as you can see. Awesome. Yeah, book. Um, it was very nerve-wracking. <laughs> so, um, how, I wanted to say, what's next after that? How, how do you go about Oh, well, I mean, listen, for me to have, you know, my whole lifetime be spent on acting was amazing. But I think in a certain way, it was probably okay to have a break and work on this book. You know, as I was saying to someone else, they were setting me up on grandma roles too, which I was like, I could be a grandma, but it's like you're trying to squish me. I went from Mona to now I'm a grandma. Yeah. I was like, this is weird. So yeah. writing a book in the meantime is a great way to, you know, keep myself creative. Um, and part of the book is a memoir too. So um, that's the challenging part yes. because I'm really <laughs> tired of writing about myself. <laughs> about myself. Honestly, I'm so bored of me stressful. at this point. Yeah, um, it can be a little stressful because you don't want to be too cocky as well. So it's like, let me see how I'm going to write this. Okay. Yeah. I did this, I did that. I don't want to put too much in. You know, oh, no, but I do. I do because I'm a no now. So I have, <laughs> yeah, literally, no, like it's literally what they slow. want is me <laughs> to put in all the things I've done. So it's been great. I really love writing, and I'm hoping to write scripts and things like that. It's a natural extension. I feel yeah, like if yeah. you're a creative person, right, which I am, then art is everywhere. Everything you do, yeah. right, is art all day long. Yeah. Whether it's uh, making a, a Instagram story where I'm making a short film out of it, or uh, you know, working, coming here and meeting people, it's all le leading to a creative life. Yeah. So that's kind of what I like to do. Um, is just put art first. So one last question as we have to wrap up here today. Again, author, you've been an actress and you're looking to dab into other things. I mean, and you, you're, all your roles have been super versatile. And like, even to this day, I, I think it's safe to accredit you as the first black god. Yeah, I, I, really I think so too. I always call myself, um, I can't, what did I, you know that phrase, 
manic pixie whatever and a manic pixie girl. I say I'm a manic pixie black girl magic because all the roles yeah. that I played, especially back in the 90s, were so odd yeah. and weird. Yeah. And even Mona was an alternate chick, yeah. you know? Mm. So I think it makes sense and I'm actually, that is what I, when I went to Hollywood um, and I was, you know, reading for roles that I just wasn't booking like a Boys in the Hood kind of thing, right? I was like, you know what I'd like to bring them is the, the something in between, what I actually am, which is not a Cosby kid, right? I'm not an upper middle, I'm not that, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm also not, uh, I'm from New York City, right? But I'm, I'm not, I'm not having the experience that they're talking about in Boys in the Hood. So I want to speak for the nerdy middle class, I guess, black experience. That's us. We're mm -hmm. from the North too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, in New Jersey. Oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying, <laughs> right? I know yeah. that. I'm very much a northern girl uh, <laughs> as well. Um, so I wanted to show people that there was this, that there yeah. was a difference between you know, um, um, a Cosby kid in college and, and you're going to jail. Yeah. There's something in between and there has exactly. to be. Exactly. So I think I've done that with with my career and um, I did a TV show this year. Once the book's finished, I'll probably go back to doing, you know, um, back to working as an actor. But a little break was actually good. Good. That's great. But again, thank you so much for your time. And Thanks, Chance. Wonderful Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Eric, can take us a picture? Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay.